Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's play some EU4. Today we start a new series here as Milan. It's been quite a long time since we've played in Italy on the channel. I think the Vini Vidi Vici campaign was like almost two years ago at this point. And we played as Savoy in that one. So I figured we start as Milan today. And uh, with the goal of forming Sardinia Piedmont. And then uh, possibly maybe a Prussia. Something We want to do some shenanigans in this run. Uh, there is not really a major goal. Obviously, Italy is going to be the final sort of thing. But um, I think it would be fun to mess around and, and do some formables. right? So we're going to do some formables in this run. But we're going to start as Milan, who admittedly starts with a pretty terrible ruler. This uh, Filippo Mirara Ma Maria. Uh, but he's old. And we can probably get rid of them pretty quickly. And I think we can get that military dictatorship quite soon. Now, we need to take a look around and see who rivaled us. Austria rivaled us. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so Genoa is a very solid rival because I would like to expand into their land as quickly as possible. Switzerland, maybe. Uh, mostly going to be looking to expand into Genoa. So if I could rival like a Provence, maybe. Or Ferrara is a great one as well. Uh, Venice, let's go with Venice and let's see if we can ally the Pope or maybe a Florence. Both of those guys would be great options. So the Pope and Florence are rivals. Hmm. Well, maybe we would be looking for a subject down here first then. So I definitely would value an alliance with the Pope rather than Ferrara. So let's go ahead and scornfully insult these guys, which will get our relationship up with the Pope just a little bit. And let's go ahead and set up our uh, our uh, our things over here. Now I may need to hop out here shortly. <laughs> My daughter is in the other room and she is fighting her nap. Something crazy. Uh, anybody with kiddos will know this. Let's go with clerical education. Try to get through those reforms as quickly as humanly possible. Uh, I like religious diplomats for that extra diplo re diplo rep is good. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with diplo that religious culture. Maybe. So we get bonuses there. Hmm. It's something we'll keep an eye on that. Oversight of the clergy is just good. And generally I don't do it, but uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of our crown land. Yeah. So with these guys, I like to generally go with the uh, nobility officer, right? So that way we can get a decent general day one. Uh, we can also go ahead and go with the increased levies. That extra manpower is going to be very good. They can't, uh, they are exempt from seizing land, but that's not really an issue that I have. And then uh, we will go with supremacy of the crown and right of council. So all of the the things, all of them. So we technically have negative prestige. So we'll get 20 prestige from patronage of the arch, which is a nice way to open that up. Um, and let's see here. Mm, none of these look super good to me. The free enterprise will be useful. We might go indebted to the burgers, but uh, not for now. Go ahead and get our mana. And uh, everybody likes us, so we can immediately see some crown lands start ticking up towards 30. Uh, obviously, there are some pretty negative malices that come from this. Uh, the main one is going to be the race against the clock. That's our crown land ownership is causing some pretty serious uh, gains in our uh, in our uh, stuff. So we're going to need to develop that up slash conquer some land. Uh, we've got plenty of force limit to spare. And we've rivaled Ferrara and Genoa. So depending on who we are able to, I don't think we'll be able to attack them. We might be able to. One of them is going to get attacked early on. That is definitely the goal. We will recruit a general, which is just a great way. A 2-3-5 general. Not bad at all. We've got three cav already. And uh, we can get four more regiments. So let's go ahead and recruit that four. And, uh, huh. Yeah, if we could try to find a friend up in the north, uh, one of the majors, that would be great. Advisors, we've got an economy, so we might as well go ahead and get some here uh, shortly. Definitely want to get our stab up, especially if we still have... Oh, we're technically a monarchy, are we? Oh, I was under the impression that we were one of the Senora Republics. Okay, we are a feudal nobility. Okay, good to know. I actually was unaware of that. Okay, I think we can probably unpause here, at least for a few days, kind of see what is going on. Mantua, that is an easy clap. Uh, no Ferrara. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no Ferrara. If Genoa is only allied to Mantua, that would be easy. Yeah, we're going to be able to ally the Pope, man. So that is good news. All right. This is this is the stuff you got to deal with when you play this game. Okay, we're just going to let this event time out here. 
because what we're going to do is there a war trade league huh okay let's actually go ahead and attack these guys right now for the humiliate rival now the reason why i did that immediately is because oh come on now i want to i'm gonna have to scorch our capital there fight these rebels that's fine we've got a decent general there we should see if we can maybe get ourselves a uh, yeah, fort defense is fine. I would I rather have the morale, but that's okay. So these guys are actually heading in. Let's prevent them from getting any friends to reinforce with. So what I'm going to do here. Yep, here you go. So you can do a lot of cheeky stuff like this. Like I scorched the earth, so they'll be there on the 12th. We'll be there before that. So I, they're locked in. And that means these guys are going to come and stack wipe themselves, right? So that's an easy stack wipe on those guys. Very easy, like no questions asked. Uh, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of admin mana. That's fine. We will get our uh, we'll get our admin mana up very quickly. Now, I do want to try to pick up some vassals early on because vassals are a great way to expand in Italy early. Um, it says they would call come... Promised Genoese land. Uh, I don't have a button to click here. Is this uh, is that an issue with my UI mod? It very well maybe. But either way, we will come in here. Those guys can't even siege my fort. So they can sit there and take all that attrition. And uh, yeah, I guess. Let's see here. Do I want to come in and kill these guys? I think I would rather come up here and kill those guys first. We also got shock damage received, which is a great modifier for a general to have. That may even be a stack wipe. That is... <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now, sadly, Mantua, we're not going to be able to do anything with them. And Theodoro being in the war is going to be annoying. But it's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. So now what we need to do here. Come in. Ship consolidate. Before we go in, stack wipe that army. And now we will uh, do a bit of that. Let's see if we can get access through some, prov some people over here. Really? They hate me. Savoy, you are... Ah, oh, they're allied to France. Unfortunate. That's okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot of men that need to be reinforcing, so that's okay. We just need to keep an eye on our enemies here. Ideally, we're just going to peace out Mantua easily enough. Eh, they might make us uh, siege them down a bit. That's okay. So I guess right now we're just chilling. We're just going to be hanging out for a bit. We will not go with the estate statutory rights. And uh, sure, a little bit of mana is definitely going to be very useful for us. Uh, we are losing a ton of money. We have a loan, but I'm not too fussed about that. Now, yeah, the sooner we can piece out Mantua, the better, because I want to ideally get a uh, show strength off, but I don't think we're going to be able to, mostly just because they have their overseas lands. So at the very least, we're going to get a humiliate and get that age objective. So that way we can start ticking up our, uh, our stuff here. This humiliate rival is going to be a very useful one. Sadly, show strength. You can only do it if you... It's a 100% peace deal. So nothing going for us quite there with that. But that's okay. Our reinforcements are coming along. And these guys have very little armies. That is their whole army right there. So all in all, I would say the opener is clean so far. We're not going to be able to attack Venice. Rivaling Venice was probably not the good call. Not the right call. You do want to make sure that you are embargoing your rivals. Well, especially if you are uh, in war with them. You can rival them or... Embargo them while they're at war with you. But you cannot do it when you have a truce with them. It's it's a, like a weird, like mostly arbitrary thing in my opinion. But yeah, that's just the way it works. We are losing a ton of manpower. Admittedly, we probably should have gotten some mercs maybe instead of picking up that army. Hindsight. That's okay. Let's go ahead and shift or uh, just a regular consolidate. So we don't reinforce all of those armies. And meanwhile, if they want to get their, you know, bit of men over there, they can. So, um, Pope has decided to bless us uh, by enacting a pit bull. Some dev cost is always appreciated. I'm going to turn that fort off. Save me a little bit of money. I'll keep the one in Como. It's a good one. Now, maybe I actually don't peace out Mantua, and I may be able to get that show strength off if I keep Mantua in the war. That is an idea. I will not peace them out. We're going to sit on them because I can't take that province. The, the war goal prevents us from doing that. But if I can... Oh, 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 whoa, Luxstella, hello. Hey, that streamer luck, lads. Hey, by the way, 
Iron Man, I promise. So the threat of fate is fickle. Name him Alexander at 626. So which one would I rather have? A f so this is this the point spread is the same. I think I'd rather have the mill mana. So let's go ahead and go with Alexander here. Yeah. He's young, so we're gonna have a, a regency regardless, but it is what it is. That is a big deal. <laughs> Lux Stella. Thank you, Paradox. Paradox giveth and Paradox taketh away. That means we will be losing a stability very shortly here. Speaking of, let's see if I can get myself a stability cost advisor here and boost our stab up. Start getting that uh, prosperity ticking up shortly. Now, I did devastate these provinces, but uh, that fort will handle that. So we should be good. And then this state should be getting prosperity very shortly within the next month or so. All right, next month. And we just need to keep an eye on this Genoese army. Make sure that they're not getting anywhere. I got a disease outbreak. I'm making very little progress on here. In fact, I've made incredibly little progress, but that's okay. The money doesn't mean anything to me. We will we will get our money back. Hey, we get a wall breach right as I say it. We will get our money back. I am not at all fussed about the money. And if anything, I'm going to try to be smart about this and make them try to take their province back. So Venice over here is not doing a whole lot. Let's take a look. 100 years war going on on Hungary or Austria doing the regular openings uh, so far. Nothing going on with that. One moment. All right, baby's down. Ready for sleep. All we need to do is siege down Genoa and we're going to get our opener. I would love to get a show strength off that extra mana early on is super incredibly useful. So that is going to be the ideal situation. And we need to make sure that we are yoinking this crown land like every opportunity we get. And speaking of, let's take a look at our mission tree because I actually haven't looked at it at all. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough one. We'll get it eventually. Reclaim the Dougal lands, huh? Okay. We might be able to do that eventually. If we can ally Austria... So Austria rivaled me before, but they're not rivaled to me now. So that is good. We definitely want to make sure that we can become friends with them. A level two trader is actually kind of useful. Half off. Hmm. Music is a little loud here. Let's turn that down just a tiny bit. The music volume mini game continues, friends, always. Um, Yeah, it's a little too much, I think. I will go with a level one guy, though. That extra 10% trade efficiency will help him pay for himself in part. So uh, we'll see how things go after we take these two provinces. Um, Theodora being in the war is, is not helpful for the cause. They joined that trade league just in time, but it uh, shouldn't be a huge issue. And we just need to siege that down here. Friends in high places, huh? Any ally, at least 165. Strength of us. And at least three allies total. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the mana. It's fine. I will take the mana. Renaissance City. 330 dev here. Yeah, I mean, we, we realistically should do some deving here in Milan. Uh, let's take a look and see if, what our chances of spawning the Renaissance are. So basically, it just has to be a province in Italy with uh, that is in a state... And either be a capital or 20 development. So looks like Milan only has that chance. So we might be able to dev up Pavia a bit. Pavia and Cremona and get ourselves, you know, essentially triple chance. But at the end of the day, it is very much a dice roll. And you can see here, that's every capital in in the in the uh the region of Italy. So probably not worth it, to be honest with you. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I could take the money. Lose the army professionals. I don't think I have any. I got five. Mm. You know, yeah, I think we're just going to sack it. A little bit of money for army professionalism is very good. Now I'm going to scorch Genoa. They're going to... I don't know what they're doing there. Definitely do not want that. Let's just go ahead and take this army out and uh, siege them down. We are actually going to get that show strength off. So let's go ahead and do that. That is great. What that did is that gave us a ton of extra mana. We can go ahead and set this dev edict up. And let's get our capital up to 30 dev, which is going to give us some construction costs and dev costs for 20 years. So we very well may actually be able to uh, develop up the institution. Let's use get that admin spent first. There we go. That will allow us to click this button here. Oh, 
say psych right now. That's fine. There you go. We've got 20. And then this one is just going to be very shortly. We'll get that up to 30 as well. Go ahead and drill. Just drill the armies. Get our prop. Uh, when you're a small nation, getting your uh, a small force limit built up to force limit and then drilling is going to be super good for you. Um, I will turn that fort off, though. We don't need those forts. We don't have any, pros any uh, devastation, so we are in a good spot. And I just need three more dev here, and I essentially have tripled my chance of getting the, uh, whatchamacallit, four loans. Yeah, let's go ahead and take out those burger loans, because you can see our uh, our interest is 0.6 ducats per month. But if we go indebted to the burgers, yes, you lose some mercantilism. It's really not an issue. That allows us to pay these debts, this loans off. Then we have, we've cut our interest by almost a third, down to almost a third, and uh, all is well with that. Now, we're focused on, hmm, so what do we want to focus on first? That is a big thing we have to consider. We can't form Sardinia Piedmont until, um, obviously, we're going to have to culture shift. I think you have to be Piedmontese. So let's think about how we want to go about that. What would be the best idea group for us to focus on? Nice. Luckily for us, we actually start off with idea cost after we get the three. So that'll be really useful. Then we get tech cost over here as well. So first idea group, what what kind of I like what what uh, what do we want to focus on in terms of our um mana generation? <sighs> Infrastructure is always a good call, but then again, I think as funny as it might seem, admin might be the best for an early culture conversion. Obviously, innovative is always a good choice. Yeah, you know what? I've already answered my question. We're going to go for Inno. So let's just go ahead and get rid of these two advisors. Just save our money for now. We want to make sure we are pumping as much into that. And then once we get our, uh, our, our guy up here in charge, we'll be in a much better spot. So all is good with that. Let's see here how we're doing. We've got an extra two force limit. Uh, we'll just stick at 14 for now. Not a big deal. And we'll pay off these loans eventually. There's not really any rush. Once we get this uh, developed here. So we'll do one admin and then one mill. And we should be good. Let's go ahead and speed five for at least a few months here. There you go. We've got three provinces that are uh, capable of spawning the Renaissance. Parma as well, huh? But that's hills. So that extra 25% dev cost is probably not worth, in my opinion. Novara. I don't think we're going to get it that much development. Well, we can try it. I'll try it. I don't care. I mean, all the development we're doing is is spending, like, it's pouring more and more into our wealth, right? Like, the more our development, yes, we're putting ourselves behind on technology, but we're going to get richer, and the snowball will will come. It'll come. So, yeah, eight development. I think we can, we can manage eight development in the meantime. So let's go ahead. All that base tax, that tax meta, baby. It's juicy. Each production gives us more goods produced. We're going to be making big gains. Five more clicks. Uh, I don't reckon we're going to get it actually in in the in time. We'll see. No, we're not going to get it in time. Free mill mana. Well, maybe we will actually. Hot dog. Yeah, yeah, we will actually. That's funny. So next month, there you go. Just like that. And let's put this on local trade power. It's usually a good call to do trade power, and at least in your home state, which is Milano, because your uh, state governing cost is super low. I think it's like 99% or something like that. It's Or it's like 50%. It's way less. So even though it costs extra to have this edict on, since it's our home state, it's cheaper. Plus our home, like our capital itself, has a level two center of trade. So we'll actually collect a ton more money from that. There you go. Look at that. See, we are making big bank. All right, Austria, you want to be my friend? They do. They totally do. Let's go ahead and send a scornful insult. Tell uh, Bohemia that they suck and that we hate them. And that should get us. They're finally friendly. Come on now. Diplor up. Ah. Hmm. Dynastic. Ah, very good. There we go. Did the reference? Did it spawn and I missed it? No, it didn't spawn. We've got another year then. No big deal. 
So we've got an ally in Austria. That is going to be useful because we will use them to beat up on uh, on Venice and take back our cores. Obviously, we're going to need to do that. We got free cores on them, so we might as well take them. Uh, they don't have any friends, so we, we could probably honestly take them on right now. But, uh, eh. Not anything pressing for me. Trent wants an alliance. So I'm going to hold on to the money that we've got right now. Venice has declared war on Byzantium, huh? Well, maybe I do have a chance here. So Austria does not want land, huh? Let's go ahead and uh, curry some favors with Austria. It's definitely in our best interest. And what sort of develop Lombardy here? 150 development. Jeez, oh, beat. Silk and Como. Okay, so we can get some uh, extra stuff. This is gonna gonna be our our, our uh, economic branch. We're gonna we'll work on that eventually here. So we're gonna need at least one more ally. So let's take a look at our diplo slots. We've got plenty to spare. Maybe Sienna would be a good friend. They keep on wanting to be my friend. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That'll allow us to get this one prestige and improve relations. Sure. Uh, Golden Ambrosian Republic, huh? Admittedly, I haven't played these guys a whole lot have a Regency Council, so I need to finish this in order to get it. One of the following must be true. Oh, 1550. Ah, okay. Three forts in a certain area. Forts in Milan are going to be upgraded. Okay, that will be incredibly useful. Permanent claim on some land. So, yes, that is the, the obvious route here for expansion. So these guys have an army. Calling the Pope in would be great. Let's get let's let's do it. Let's go ahead and, and get this war going. Uh all I want to do. So Bergamo's Hills. Yeah, yeah. So this is fine. Calling the Pope. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to occupy the war goal and then sit on Brescia. And hopefully the Pope won't get, like, stack wiped. That would be very annoying. It is the AI, so you kind of got to just take what you can get. Or, even better yet, the AI is going to go and just sit on a fort over there, which would be great for us. Uh, let's also make sure we are getting some spy network on these guys. Always good to get spy network on people that you're at war with. A little extra spy network gives you extra siege ability, which is very nice. So, it still hasn't spawned here. Man. Renaissance is taking its time. It's doesn't. It's not a one hundred percent chance to spawn each month. So yeah, we're just kind of sitting here. Let's uh, let's say Pope Man to siege that down and just see. Yeah, this is great because they're they're definitely preoccupied over here. Siege. Oh, interesting. So who else is is involved in that war with Venice? That's it. Just uh, okay. So they're probably going to be marching their armies back this way. This Pope army is definitely in danger. But this is great. Tying that 6k down, that's going to be great. Uh, all I want is these two provinces, so it should be pretty cheap for us to take in terms of war score. So we'll see how it goes. An extra two provinces that are, you know, free. <laughs> you can't beat free. Free is the best kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. We're just going to be sitting here and waiting. Siege ability could definitely be better on our end, but uh, looks like we're doing okay. Cyprus has joined the Geno Intrigue League. Trade League. All is good. So we're making very good progress here. Sadly, the Pope is getting zero progress here. 180 days. Oh, as I speak it. That's good. That's good stuff. We're losing a little bit of money. I can't believe the Renaissance still hasn't spawned yet. Oh, go on, Pope. Go on, man. Go on with your bad self. Let's see him. Oh, 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 bad battle. <laughs> bad battle. Hopefully they're not coming for me. They definitely could be. Let's have them attached to me. No. No, no, I must have rolled really bad. A zero to an eight in the shock phase. That is very tragic, actually. That is very tragic. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to a fort defense guy. Yeah, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. You'll have that. All right, let's let these guys attach to me. This is Hills, so this would be a great fight for us eventually. Where is the Pope? He is sieging them down. Hmm. 
it's probably okay, honestly. But uh, at this point, we're going to need to really consider this. Let's go ahead. Let's take our infantry and consolidate them. That will free up a bit of force limit. And the Swiss free guard, huh? Let's go ahead and do that. We've got money. I'm really not worried about money. Like, the loans are are not an issue for us. So now we need to get this Merc stack down here. They also have a good general, huh? A 3 4 2 2 2 siege. And I forgot to do my estate statutory right, so that's unfortunate as well. But what we're doing is we're waiting for this Merc stack to get a little bit more morale. Go ahead and have them attach. Shift click is how you do that. And then meanwhile, these guys have a wall breach up here, which is great. Uh, let's see here. Next month, maybe? No. We'll go... Yeah, this is fine. We need to we need to get them off of that. They're going to reinforce, and we're going to lose. We are going to lose. That is unfortunate as well. And they broke the AI, man. <laughs> so they took a minus one there, and they still, like, <laughs> dominated me? That's uh, That doesn't seem appropriate. Pope, I would really appreciate it if you would attach your armies to me, man. Please. I mean, this is fine. We'll just let our boys recoup for a couple of months. Not really a big deal. And uh, we reset their sieges, except for this one here in Perugia. Now, yeah, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. All right. Head in there, shift consolidate. And then we will also shift consolidate you guys just to make sure. And despite us having... Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, we rolled out nine to their zero right there. But they're taking a minus two. How are they hanging on? How are they doing so well? We even have infantry combat ability. They must have miltech on us. Yeah? Ah, oh, they do. Yeah, that's foolish on my end then. I should have I should have been aware of that. That's okay though. They're taking crazy losses. They're not going to be able to sustain that. Though, uh, realistically, we can't either. Yeah, that extra reinforced ticka is going to be painful. Okay, let's get this our army over here. The sooner we can win this siege, the better. Now, sadly, we're not in charge of the siege, so but we do get our two siege pips from our general. This is okay. They're not going to be too upset about one of their one of their subjects being sieged down, so it should be okay. We didn't get Renaissance, really. Montferrat got it. The, our neighbor got it. Troll. That's so troll. It's fine. We're going to get it very quickly. We'll be able to embrace it. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Disease outbreak. You love to see it, folks. Uh, it's we're actually getting really lucky with this siege over here, and we have rebels that have attacked us, which I'm pretty sure actually progresses our siege, so that's good. If you don't know, fighting, winning a siege, winning a battle on a siege that is going on actually gives you a bonus to your uh, like progress there. Oh my gosh, these guys are getting these guys are getting trolled on this hill fort. Actually, we're definitely racing against time, though. I have a feeling they're going to be coming for us. Uh, they're coming for us. Oh, that's a lot of their army right there. Yeah, that's that's half their army than the rest of these boys over here. So 42% versus a zero. Can we go? Can we get it? We got a disease outbreak instead. You hate to see it, folks. Luckily, the Pope Man is a sieging machine. Come on, man. 28 to a 49. Who wins? I think I know who wins, to be honest with you. We do have the ticking war score. Yep. 28. Ah, oh, so typical. So, so, so very typical. So they're on Roma. That means the Pope is probably going to be feeling pretty bad. They're okay right now. Can we win this siege? Please. Nope. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, we don't want to fight them. We don't. That Miltech is huge. Like, tactics and morale. Very big deal. So, something we have to definitely keep in mind. Yeah, and they're sieging down those occupied and besieged provinces. Pope Man is probably going to peace out, like, in a month. And my camera's acting up as well. There we go. Faulty uh, battery cable. You know, you'll have that. But either way, we have won the Siege of Brescia. Sadly, the war score is not looking good for us at all. All those battles that we have lost and the Pope. But, um, you know, it, it's it's uncertain who is going to win. If we can catch out some of these guys over here, we definitely want to do that. Like this, this would be probably a stack wipe because they have also the, uh, uh, like an un... Oh, come on, France. <laughs> come on now. Let me through, please. Let me in. Um, they have the uneven amount of troops or whatever. So they're going to be taking a, uh, a minus. I actually don't know what the what the deficit is whenever they have too many cav. But that is definitely a, 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 an issue. What does this say here? 
Military tactics of cavalry regiments by 9%. That's actually not that bad, to be fair. But yeah, that's a that's not even a wipe. Gosh, dang, man. They might be just fleeing to Parma, though. That would be ideal. I think they are. No? A little bit farther. Yeah, Pope-man is definitely going to be peacing out here. I can't take that fight, though. Like, if the Pope doesn't want that extra 10 stack to help, it's it's game over for us. Though, once they peace out, it's really not a big deal. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Free mill mana. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hmm. So, we've got R16 and then there too. But, yeah. A one-to-one, -one, that's, that's a total loss. Let's uh, do a little bit of sieging here. Let's have you guys detach and have Fort Zone of Control troll us. Okay, here you go. Is Naxos. Yeah, this is this is the war goal. Like this is what I want. Fifteen war score, and they're not even close because we need at least ten. We have zero, right? So we'll see what we can do here. We can't catch them out. We can't do anything here. So yeah, this army that's over... They're landing a couple of men. I might be able to do something here. Where are they going? Urbino? Yeah, they pieced out. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's stack wipe them. Now, can I get this peace deal? Maybe. This is risky. We're going to get on to Treviso here. Occupied and besieged provinces is so close, but not enough. <sighs> Damn. No. Ah. Yeah. And that extra tactics advantage is going to be so juicy for them. All right. Let's flee up to our mountain fort here. And we didn't flee to our mountain fort. Okay. Why? Okay. So those mercs are just dead i guess i don't get a say they just fled to the wrong province i guess reasons you know you'll have that i suppose but whatever not really a big deal just money lost in the end of it but uh, not a huge deal very annoying but not the end of the world now how much i should probably invest yeah let's invest in that okay now the sooner i can get now, we definitely want this one. Yes. That means, uh, if, if you didn't see it, increased levies no longer increases influence and uh, affects max absolutism, plus gives you some stability cost, which is good. The manpower is nice, but we get our manpower from, uh, from here, right? We get 23% from that. So instead of... The only downside is, is that we can't uh, seize land from them, but that's really not a huge deal. Yeah, we also definitely need to be getting... Our uh, our crown land up though that uh, autonomy change is going to be painful. Though the sooner I can get Miltech, let's see here, April fifty six. Nah, it's not going to work. Let's go ahead and scorch our capital there. Sadly, it hurts our prosperity, but it must be done. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. I'll take out a loan. Get some better mercs here. We're gonna need them. If we are if we're not gonna get mill tech, we're gonna need to at least get some mill like forces. Let's take that back here. They are on a 14% chance. This guy's these guys morale is very low. On the monthly tick though, we'll get in there. I don't know if we actually win this. We certainly do not, especially if they're reinforcing. Actually, we do. Okay, that's a big deal. Okay, okay, okay. All is not lost yet. We can get this occupation here. Okay. Now we just need to wait it out. A little bit of loot, too. All is well with that. I'll just sit here on Verona. And we'll even scorch it just to make sure that they're not going to be doing any funny business. Yes, that puts us behind on Miltech. No, I'm not really too fussed about it. We have a Regency now. For six years. Hmm. Not ideal. 
He's now on low enthusiasm as well, so we might even be able to get some money. So the question is, is would I rather have cash or war reps? Well, it's quite a bit of cash, to be honest with you. What is my debt? What is my total debt? That would pay off a lot of our debt. I think war reps is going to be more important, though. I think war reps is, is going to be big. Yep, this is fine. We got our two cores back, which is all fine and dandy. They are free stated cores. So that is awesome. That means we can reclaim the Ducal lands and we get claims on a ton of their other lands. And that is a great place to call it. Long episode for the first one, but you guys know we got to open up and do some uh, do some numbers here, make something happen. So we've grown by two provinces. We've gotten uh, two missions done and we've got a third one on the way as soon as we are able to uh, embrace this institution, which uh, let me see here is very, very close in some of our provinces. It will spread like wildfire. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to institution spread. Should have done that earlier. That would allow us to get it probably an extra, you know, year earlier or so. But either way, if you guys are excited to see some Milan slash Sardinia Piedmont slash other formables that we're going to try and you have a suggestion of a path on how to maybe do some of those formables, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you're enjoying and you want to see more stuff like this because every weekday we got more videos coming out. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next one. Special thanks to Chio, Josh Kripchinski, Azure Rhino, Blonde Damon, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Corby Gaming, Anthony Grove, Isaiah, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Total Farce Frit, Nathan Albright, and many more. Thank you.